Hey, Stephen Veronica Kibler here again, and today we are on our way up to Gatlinburg. So it's the first weekend in uh, in April, and uh, with the local schools uh, almost ending their spring break, it looks like traffic was a little light, lighter than what we expected. Light, lighter than what we expect, but this is early. This is about nine a.m. or that, just before nine. Or that's true. It yeah. is early in the morning, so we were able to get uh, into a parking garage very easily, and mm -hmm. find plenty of parking space. Yeah. I think there was 270 spots available when we got in there. <laughs> yes, and then I think when we were leaving, I don't think there was any. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So here we are and yeah. taking in the beautiful sights of Gatlinburg. Now we do have another video on going up to Anakista we just put out not too long ago. And at 9 in the morning, the lines were n not terribly long, at least yeah. not for the folks taking the yes. Uh, the ski lift, the um, Rambler that takes you up, I think were a little bit longer for the people Yeah, I think riding. it took a little longer to get up on the Rambler, yes. maybe. Yeah. And then we beautiful found tulips. some beautiful spring flowers. We went up to Anakista and then got hungry, so I decided to come back down and, and go look for a restaurant mm -hmm. to eat at. So we thought we'd take you along with us as we walk from one end of town to the other. Mm -hmm. And along the way, we saw some beautiful tulips that were in full bloom and a lot of other beautiful flowers and trees. Mm -hmm. Here, so this is in front of... Uh, in front of the aquarium, the Ripley's Aquarium. Ripley's Aquarium, which uh, we visited before and mm -hmm. it's, it's really, really pretty inside to look at all the fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I recommend going there if you've never been. Oh, it looked like some geese down there having a good time. The geese were all um, in the water, staying warm and <laughs> looking for food. Yeah. More flowers. And here we are walking uh, along the river, looking for a restaurant to eat at. And we continue to see spring all around us. Mm-hmm. Everywhere we turned, it was beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. More beautiful flowers. I just love flowers in the springtime. I get right. And there's Jason Aldean's uh, rooftop bar area. And then, of course, the Ripley's, uh, believe it or not, building. And we are walking, and there's a mellow mushroom here mm -hmm. as well. And it looked, Steve looked in there real quick, and it looks like it's the one, the same type of service as the one at the island. Yeah, not 100% sure because um, it was upstairs. I didn't go upstairs. Yeah, but, but it almost looked like you order at the front there. Yeah, maybe. The there's a, the, it was definitely a bar area in the front down there. Okay. Oh, then okay. Yeah. Then maybe, no. Yeah. We just, we, we, we weren't in the mood for pizza today, so yeah. we ended up going somewhere else. But we will be Checking out that yeah. mellow mushroom yeah. in the future. Yeah. Check it out for you folks. Let you know what so kind of many places setup it to is. eat and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Friday still, and you got melting pot there, and okay. flapjacks. And <laughs> A lot of choices, and we got closer to the end of the strip, and uh, we settled on Calhoun's. Which yeah, is we weren't sure. Where across the street, and yes, across the street I've from I've seen over. videos where people like Calhoun, so we thought we'd give it a try. So the further down you go into the strip, a little bit less traffic. Yeah, there's less foot traffic. Foot and, traffic. And also vehicle traffic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Across from the over. But they do have parking yeah. all along the strip, so there's a lot, a lot of parking garages. Mm -hmm. Now over here it says best ribs in America for Calhoun's. And I'm going to have to say that I didn't agree with that. I believe we... But we're we, going to yes. tell you what we liked and what we thought they were lacking a little bit. Yes, in. what they can definitely improve on. Yeah. You know, Veronica and I have both been in uh, competition rib cook-offs and all that. And we've, we've you know, been champions at a time or two. And then... Yeah, yes. Then we've gotten seconds and thirds and, yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> you so know, not placed, you know, so because we, I made a mistake with salt one time. 
put three <laughs> tablespoons instead of uh, three teaspoons in my sauce. Live and learn. Right? Yeah. We improved and we won a champ championship eventually. Yeah, so, to, yes. I think it was all the way back in 2010 we won the championship. <laughs> it's funny how we know a little bit about ribs and other and chili cook offs. And, mm -hmm. you know, we've been in a lot of competition in the past. But this is a beautiful restaurant inside, so I can see why folks um, mm. talk about this restaurant mm. quite a bit. It is beautiful. I don't know if their menu has changed from previous uh, years, but uh, it's uh, it's not what I was expecting. Yeah, so. and I, I was a little surprised. This is already afternoon. This is about 12.30 or so, and there wasn't that many people no. in there. We, we were basically the only ones sitting at a booth. Yeah. for a long time for a very long time i was very very mm -hmm. surprised because yeah. we've seen a lot of videos on this restaurant and for it being a saturday yeah. afternoon lunchtime, um we were surprised that it was pretty mm -hmm. empty nevertheless we did order lunch mm -hmm. and uh, here's a look at their menu yeah feel free to pause the video if you um, want to take a closer look steve ordered the calhoun's trio and i ordered the ale steak Mm -hmm. uh, I ordered a fresh squeezed lemonade, I'm sorry, not lemonade, orange juice, which yeah. is there listed in the beverages. And I had my regular on sweet iced tea. Now this is the bread service. It came with like four different types of bread. You had a corn muffin, a biscuit, a garlic bread, and then the other muffin was uh, left over from, it, they call it spent grain when you're making beer, and it was made out of that. Yes, and that, yeah, this was the regular, um, was this the garlic bread you said? That was the garlic bread okay. I was cutting there, and that's the biscuit. Mm -hmm. Now the biscuit, I'll say, was, in my opinion, the best bread mm -hmm. of the four different breads. I agree. And this mm -hmm. grain, um, this the spent grain um, muffin, muffin was, was sweet. It was sweet. Yeah. Um, it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I, I agree. I think the, the biscuit was buttery and light. Mm -hmm. And it had like nice. almost like a light crispy top on it. Yeah. And it, I think you it's the best biscuit I've had anywhere in Tennessee so far. Yeah. It, it, it was a good biscuit. I folks. was very surprised mm -hmm. that their biscuit was really good. I was really, really extremely mm -hmm. surprised. But it was soft and tender. And I think maybe it just been baked. So it, it is nice that they bring out bread yeah. service because a lot of I mean, restaurants, like, a lot of like restaurants it. have gotten away from yeah. bringing out the bread yeah, service or because they want to charge you for a bread. Or they want to charge you, but you know the whole thing about carbs and people watching their weight. I'm sorry, I, some of us still like carbs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some of us do like eating carbs yeah. and do like bread. Yeah. So thank I, you. I think it's nice to have a complimentary bread thank service. Thank you to those I restaurants eat. who do serve yeah. a bread service with yeah. with a nice. Uh, mm -hmm meal that you know you're you're ordering so the bread service was fresh it did feel like the, it was you know baked fresh so that was nice mm -hmm. and um, I had um, some cornbread on my plate as well and the biscuit mm. So again, you know, we we did enjoy the bread service. Now I prefer when it comes to the cornbread. I think Cracker Barrel makes the best cornbread. Yeah, the uh, Cracker Barrel's cornbread. Yes, I prefer really Cracker Barrel cornbread, and um, yeah. and this was okay. It yeah. wasn't bad, I mean, we, but, but it didn't wow. We just want to be, you know, fair. It's like they. You know, this place makes a really good biscuit, but the cornbread's better at Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. And this is just our opinion, folks, our experiences. This is my fresh squeezed orange juice, and it, it was very small. I was really surprised mm. at how small of a glass they served for $4. So that was a little bit of a shocker to me. Um, I've had fresh squeezed orange juice in other restaurants in California, and they give you a regular size glass. 
Mm-hmm. You know, you're, you, they, they, you know, they serve you like a regular size, like beverage yeah. drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's your steak in your my steak fully was loaded tater. Fully loaded to potato. Now the the fixings are a dollar extra for the potato. It was a large potato. That was great, but you do have to pay extra for the fixings. And then the steak came with um, an ex- extra butter on top. And that steak was tender, juicy, flavorful. It was a very delicious cut of meat. It was the, the seven ounce for eighteen seventy five. So the baked potato and this um, small cut of um, steak um, was eighteen seventy five. Yeah. Now, do you think that was a a little bit pay a little bit higher to pay for that? Size I of thought steak? yes. I thought it was a little bit high to pay. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I would have been okay if it came with a salad. I would have been yeah, like, okay, well, it, you yeah. get the two sides and the steak. Yeah, but yeah, and, I agree. But mm-hmm. it doesn't. It comes just one side, uh, and the mm-hmm. bread service, and that's it. So for those folks who don't mm. eat carbs, it would just basically be the baked potato and the steak. Because they, you know, folks who don't eat carbs don't eat the bread. Well, and they wouldn't eat a baked potato either. Mm. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, oh. they would. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> then. It, all right, then never mind. <laughs> they would have picked a different side. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. The so baked potato is a carb. Well, they also. probably would have picked yeah. Uh, yeah. broccoli or something yeah. like mm-hmm. that. Now, the steak itself, I did taste it, and I thought it was a very well-cooked steak. It was, very well. It was just on the small side. It was, But it was a well-cooked steak. Now, I think you said your baked potato wasn't as hot as you Um, would like to have It wasn't, and I was surprised. And we do like our food served hot. Yes, so I was kind of a little surprised that baked potato wasn't hot. So, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't cold. It was just kind of lukewarm. But that's mm-hmm. okay. I mean, it was fine. It, it was flavorful with all the bacon on it mm-hmm. and the chives. Mm-hmm. I ate the whole potato. Yes, you did. Yeah. Um, but it was a very large potato. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I wanted to fill up because mm-hmm. I know I knew we had done a lot of walking. We'd gone mm-hmm. to Aniquista earlier and going to do a little bit more walking. And I thought, you know, I want to, I don't want to be mm-hmm. hungry in an hour. So. Yeah. Now, this is my plate. I had the uh, trio, the Calhoun's trio, and it normally comes with uh, chicken tenders, but I opted for the uh, uh, brisket, and it was a couple dollars more. I think it ended up being like 23 something, 23.50 with getting the brisket instead of 21.85. Yeah. Now, I will say this: you know, when you put, post a sign that says you got the best ribs in America outside. Um, I was really expecting to get blown away, and I wasn't. Um, th- I'm not saying that the food wasn't good, but it wasn't the best ribs I've ever had. And this is just our personal opinion yeah. based on the different restaurants we eat at and yeah. have tried um, mm-hmm. across the country. Mm-hmm. So and we've been. I mean, I've been around the world, and I've eaten a bunch of different places, and I've eaten all over the United States. And, this um, unfortunately is not the best ribs I've ever had. And and what's interesting yeah. is they specialize in ribs and they they only offer one barbecue sauce. One barbecue sauce. Yeah. And I wasn't a fan of the barbecue sauce that they serve. You kept saying I can't quite identify the flavor uh, yeah. well, ingredients in this in this sauce and it yeah. turns out, you know, when we read the ingredients on the bottle of sauce, it's, it has anchovies in a fruit called tamarind, which is uh, a soft tropical fruit, which to me, the mm-hmm. I tasted the sauce and it did taste a little bit fruity, which to me, it's good. I like tamarind, yeah. but the anchovies, is, I think, is what kept throwing yeah, you off. Yeah, there's something that just kept throwing me off. It, it wasn't pleasant to me that the barbecue sauce was not pleasant. I mean, I ate it. I ate it all. brought home what I didn't eat that day and ate it all. Yes, uh, because know, we I wasn't going to waste the food. We're not going to. You know. we, we don't like but, to waste food. I mean, we ate at the uh, Timberwood Grill not too long ago at the island, and their ribs would blow these away. They were fantastic. Oh, they, they were, were fantastic. They were fantastic. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that the ribs wasn't cooked. I mean, the meat was cooked probably right, but the sauce is what was throwing me off. I, you know, took some more sauce that they had there at the table, and it still had that same taste that I just. Again, it, it, it wasn't was, pleasant to me. It was probably the anchovies. Yeah. <laughs> You're not expecting now, a, a fishy flavor yeah, in your the, barbecue sauce. The server, you know, was doing her best to try to 
you know, make me happy. And she, she brought me out a, a, another sauce, which was a honey based, and it had a lot of, it was spicy. It was hot. It was very hot. And, and it, it, it was, was better. It was better. But it still wasn't a home run, you know, mm -hmm. for me. So that was very nice of our server. Now this yeah, coleslaw, try. I thought was one of the best coleslaws I've had. I mean, that was actually a good coleslaw, but it was just a little teaser. I mean, it wasn't really a side. It it wasn't. It's like a sampler. Let, you, a, let, let, yeah. me, let me let you sample our yeah, coleslaw. Our coleslaw. I was, was very disappointed of the size of that coleslaw. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my well, goodness. Well, I mean, I could have ordered coleslaw, I guess, but it was a good coleslaw. I'll, I'll say that. You know, I'm telling you the good and the for me, not the not so good, you know, and the coleslaw was good, but that's all the bigger it was, just a little uh, sampling thing, and I think it's just a traditional thing down here that they serve coleslaw with barbecue. Now the baked potato for me, you know, with all the fixings, um, you know, it, was, it did cost a dollar extra to get the bacon and all that stuff, but I liked the baked potato. I thought it was good, um, you know, with all the fixings on. Then I had the pulled pork also, and the pulled pork pork was good I mean it was cooked right but the the barbecue sauce again wasn't that great and that was the uh, I just showed you the uh, barbecue sauce that the uh, the honey glaze, brought, like the honey the honey glaze, glaze. One, and that was on the brisket there and the brisket was cooked really well but you know the, again the barbecue sauce that they originally served wasn't that great this was a better sauce the one I'm using right now was a better sauce but you know and it was a hot it was a spicy sauce and I, and I liked it 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 was okay but I wished maybe they would have started with that <laughs> but I understand everybody doesn't like spicy either you that's know that's true I mean that's what we like we like spicier sauces mm -hmm. yes and here's a view from our seat mm -hmm. uh, a beautiful location where this restaurant sits so mm -hmm. again um, room yeah. for improvement, you know. This is yeah. our personal experience, our yeah. thoughts Again, for yeah. the food that we purchased, and uh, just want to be honest and you give know. our honest opinion. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen many other YouTubers at, you know, Calhoun's, and they seem to really like it. And you know, you might as well if you go there. Yeah, I'm not telling you not to go there. I'm just saying <laughs> our experience. They wasn't the best ribs in town, is what I'm getting at. Not for us. They're not in America anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah. room for improvement. So, yeah. do do with that information what you will. Yeah. So this is where we had lunch uh, mm -hmm. after visiting Anakista and walking through Gatlinburg, showing you the sites mm -hmm. and how busy um, mm -hmm. it got. It wasn't as crowded as I thought it would have been on a weekend. There. Uh, with some folks still and on it's, spring uh, fish break. ponds outside at Cherokee Grill, in case you're wondering. Cherokee yeah. Grill, which is next door to yeah. Calhoun's, mm -hmm. but um, yes, so the crowds were manageable. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, terrible walking yeah, up and I down the strip. It I mean, was surprisingly for, nice for a Saturday. You know, I thought it was reasonable. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went up there with expectations it was going to be packed. You know. So we wanted to, again, you know, let you know that how busy it gets during spring break or the different weeks because people take spring break. I guess schools let out different types, different, different times, times of, the, of, the, of the month of that season, yeah. that, that uh, March and, and April. So yeah. just a heads up on, you know, what to expect. Yeah, some people go before Easter, some people go after Easter, some schools, our local schools went after Easter. More beautiful flower pots. And this is in front of the Howard's restaurant, which we yeah. haven't tried yet, but may, pretty, maybe but one of these days nice. we're gonna yeah. we're gonna check out some reviews and see what other folks are saying. Mm -hmm. uh, again, w if it looks like it's gonna be a good restaurant, we will try it. If it's not, we're not gonna waste our yeah. money on bad restaurants, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. yep. You know, there's just so many places to eat up in Gatlinburg that you know you don't you don't have to settle you know you exactly go, exactly you, know, you don't have to settle there's a get lot the best bang for your boat a lot of choices mm -hmm. i like that they plant a lot of beautiful flowers along the strip for people to oh, enjoy yeah. again you know people who take care of the grounds in these places around here they do a great job 
and it felt really festive walking up and down the strip because they oh this is the local burro which is one that we're going to try a mexican restaurant it has yeah. a rooftop seating and then we saw this beautiful building we think this might be a it church it might be a methodist church i'm not 100 percent sure about that we didn't walk back there but we think it might be mm -hmm. a church but it looked unique mm -hmm. it, it, you know, i love the architecture oh architecture it, was absolutely know. beautiful and they um they have music playing um, you, that you hear outside on the street, different businesses have music playing. So it just felt really festive to mm -hmm. be amongst the people walking mm -hmm. up and down the strip, having a really good time and mm -hmm. taking in the sun and the fresh air. Mm -hmm. And as you walk by some of the places that uh, sell um, oh, yeah. uh, hot dogs, they, you know, you could smell. Oh, yeah, the sausage and stuff that was cooking at the one place. Oh, oh. yes, the grills, um, yeah. onions and bell peppers that they serve mm -hmm. on buns probably with the mm -hmm. the with the broths or I'm not it's sure. like a broader it's yeah. sausages sausages so oh my yeah. goodness that place smells so good when we yeah. walk by it this so, area looked really neat they had mini yeah. golf up there we're gonna go yeah. try that mini golf one of these days yeah they have laser tag and all that and the skate yeah. game and this here. is more of the what the sidewalks were like a lot of people but not unbearable. Not like last time we went up there and it was very, very uh, packed. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, eventually we did go through the village again and we walked mm -hmm. in real quick to see how it looked inside the village. Mm -hmm. And again, real beautiful with a lot of flowers um, bloom, starting yeah. to bloom in, in that area. Yeah, the, the village area is always kind of a cute spot to visit with uh, their U Re European design mm -hmm. um, buildings. Just very, very charming. I love the fountains. Mostly the flowers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it looks like it still was a little bit decorated from Easter. You, have, you see ribbons on those poles from the Easter bunny decorations celebrating Easter and mm -hmm. what comes along with all of that so that was really pretty it's another beautiful tree and you're over there by the donut fryer the very popular donut fryer and we had an absolute wonderful time going yeah. uh, up to Gatlinburg yeah. the first weekend of April and enjoyed uh, being with you know all the uh, folks outside talking and walking mm -hmm. and eating and just having a good time listening to the music on mm -hmm. the streets it's just so festive so enjoyable it was just a wonderful day uh, to be outside in a beautiful spring day in Gatlinburg Tennessee if you like the videos that we're bringing you please feel free to subscribe to our channel it is free to subscribe and click that little like button and the little bell will alert you when we upload new videos so you can uh, take advantage of those and take a look at what's going on in East Tennessee and and uh, places to eat places to go have fun and do things and just enjoy being in Tennessee when you come visit or if you're already living in this area we hope that you're all having a wonderful week Hope your springtime is going well. And we thank you so much for watching our videos. And uh, leave a comment or if you have any questions, feel free to post your question. We will try to answer that for you. Yeah, you know, if you all ate at uh, Calhoun's, you know, let us know what you think of it in a comment. Or if it had been different in the past, yeah. you know, we don't know. But we're kind of curious about that. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your week.